Hi, this is Rebecca with ButtonMakers.net, and today I'm going to show you how to design your own buttons using this design tool. Uh, it'll help you design um, like a pinback style button, and it'll lay out pages for you that you can print on your home printer and make your buttons using button making machines and supplies from ButtonMakers.net. Uh, it's a free application, and uh, you can support us by exclusively purchasing your button making equipment and supplies from buttonmakers.net. You can also talk about us on your social media or give us a link back um, to our website from your website. That helps us out quite a lot. The first thing to notice about this design tool is that it is not associated with your buttonmakers.net shopping cart. So you will need to click the sign up here button even if you already have an account with us. Um, so I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And this is the design tool. So first, I'm just going to give an overview of some of these options. The very, very, very first thing you always want to do when you come here is select your appropriate size. It defaults to the 7 8 inch size, um, which is the small size and probably not what you're using. So um, most people have 1 inch um, or... Um, you know, a different size. <clears throat> I'm going to do a two and a quarter inch uh, design today. So I'm going to click that and then yes, saying this changes will be lost. I haven't made any changes, so that's fine. Um, the next thing you just want to go over, I'm going to go over some of these things as an overview. So the first thing is save and load. Just so that you are aware of how this works, new erases everything and starts a new session. Um, open a, and a session is the, where all of your graphical layers are still editable and saved. So like if you want to make changes to something later, you'll click save session or, you know, open session if you have a saved one. Um, so that's what a session is. Um, new just erases everything. Save this button is the one you want to use when you're ready to go to print. Um, so it's the last option here in bold under save. So that's the important one. Okay, um, upload image. That's where you can upload a photo or a logo, a real button size. This kind of gives you an approximation. It lets you design a little bit bigger and kind of gives you an approximation of what it'll look like when it's printed. It is um, not super accurate though, depending on the, size, the resolution of your monitor. So just keep that in mind. Um, select icons you can you know change the icon here if you want um, show all button paper uh, is allows you to um, so this is what shows up on the face of your button um, and uh, the show all button paper shows you the bleed area from the where it starts to wrap around the sides of the button and then where this is in the back and totally hidden um, so most people will just want to design with this off because this is what actually shows up on the face of your button. And then this, the rest of this is just in the back and some of it's completely hidden entirely. Um, <clears throat> here are the graphical, here's the text-based layers and, and, uh, and uh, graphical layers. You want to turn these on and off using these buttons at the bottom here. Um, so if you, want to get rid of some of these text layers, you don't just delete the text. It won't actually help you. It changes to type now. Um, so you want to actually just delete, just turn that off. Um, you can add two extra text layers as well if you want. Um, so what I'm going to do now is turn these additional type layers off. I'm going to turn my icon off. I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to change that to black. Then I'm going to click Upload Image. And I'm going to select my picture and click it and move it around a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the size slider on the right here to change the size here and rotate. Um, all right, now I'm going to click on the rounded text top text and I'm going to type in the text I want. Okay. 
and change the fonts and change the color. I'm going to put an outline on the type here to kind of make it stand out a little bit and do the same thing at the bottom. All right, so I'm pretty good with that. I'm going to go ahead and save a session just to um, just in case. And then I'm also going to click save this button because I'm done with it and I want to print it out now. So after I click save this button, I'm going to click on print your buttons. And I'm going to, there's two options here. Um, where you can you can you can select make a print sheet with different size but or excuse me different buttons of the same size so as long as your buttons are the same size it lets you lay out a page um, of different designs uh, but I'm going to go ahead and with this one selected select make a print sheet of just this one button <clears throat> all right the next thing is that is very important to know is that when you print these out you have to print them at 100 um, percent. So uh, real quick first, I'm going to just say that, so here's, this is a, just a PHP file that you can, you can download as a PDF or you can print, you can queue to your printer. These are print options that pop up in Chrome. It might look a little different if you're using a different browser, but I would recommend that you download your print sheets as a PDF and not rely on button makers for file storage. Um, it's a free app and you can't guarantee uh, forever, forever storage. Um, so click on, I'm going to click on print right now, a lovely emergency vehicle in the background. Um, so you want to um, click on more settings and just make sure that you're not scaling your um, images. So it might say default here and by default most people's printers zoom to fit or scale to or fit to page right? You don't want to fit to page. It is better to cut off some of the graphic than it is to have the wrong size circles. And remember, most people's printers will default to fit to page or scale to fit or something like that. Uh, rather than print it at 100%, it'll scream at you and say it's going to cut off due to the margins or whatever. That, again, that is better to have a little bit of cut off on the edges here than it is to have the wrong size circle. So always scale 100%. Um, and we'll print that out. Um, all right, so again, you wanna save your, you wanna download and save your graphics as well. Don't rely on us for file storage. And um, that's about it. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions about the online design tool. And remember, always buy your button making supplies from buttonmakers.net. Thank you so much.